Ecuadorians are people identified with Ecuador, a country in South America, its citizens or their descendants abroad who identify with the Ecuadorian culture and descent. Ecuador is a multi-ethnic society, a home to people of various ethnic origins. As a result, Ecuadorians do not equate their nationality with their ethnicity, but rather their allegiance or affinity for Ecuador. Majority of Ecuadorians trace their origins to one or more of three geographical sources of human migrations to the territory of modern Ecuador, the pre-Hispanic indigenous populations who settled the region over 15,000 years ago, the Europeans principally Spaniards which are also the source of the Spanish language who arrived over five centuries ago, and ultimately the sub-Saharan Africans who were imported to New Spain as slaves during the same period. The mixing of two or more of these three groups established other mixed ethnic groups. Mestizos, the multiracial group of mixed European and Amerindian ancestry, are by far the largest of all the ethnic groups and comprise around 71.9% of the current population. Whites are estimated at 6.1% and consist largely of those of unmixed or predominant European descent. Most white Ecuadorians are of colonial era Spanish origin, also known as criollos, literally meaning local-born Spaniards, as opposed to peninsulares, which were Spaniards born in the Iberian Peninsula in Spain. They also include descendants of immigrants from Italy, Germany, and France, as well as other countries. The third most numerous group are the indigenous Amerindians, who account for approximately 7% of the population. Afro-Ecuadorians make up most of the balance of the percentage and include mulattoes mixed European and sub-Saharan African and Zambos mixed indigenous and sub-Saharan African. Topic: Population. Topic: Census data. The Ecuadorian census is conducted by the governmental institution known as INEC, Instituto Nacional de Estadísticas y Censos National Institute of Statistics and Census. The census in Ecuador is conducted every 10 years, and its objective is to obtain the number of people residing within its borders. The current census now includes household information. The most recent census as of 2011 emphasized reaching rural and remote areas to map the most accurate population count in the country. The 2010 census was conducted in November and December, and its results were published 27 January 2011. The following table shows the dates the most recent censuses were made, and the total population number. Index of growth UN estimates. According to the 2017 revision of the world population prospects the total population was 16,385,068 in 2016, compared to only 3,470,000 in 1950. The proportion of children below the age of 15 in 2015 was 29.0%, 63.4% was between 15 and 65 years of age, while 6.7% was 65 years or older. Topic. Structure of the population Structure of the population the 7th of January 2013 estimates, excludes nomadic Indian tribes. Data refer to projections based on the 2010 population census Topic. Vital statistics Registration of vital events is in Ecuador not complete. The Population Department of the United Nations prepared the following estimates. Births and deaths Topic. CIA World Factbook Demographic Statistics The following demographic statistics are from the CIA World Factbook, unless otherwise indicated. Population 15,007,343 July 2011 est Median age Total, 25.7 years Male, 25 years Female, 26.3 years 2011 est, population growth rate 1.443% Net migration rate Minus 0.52 migrants, 1,000 population 2003 est, minus 0.81 migrants, 1,000 population 2009 est, sex ratio 
At birth, 1.05 males, female under 15 years, 1. 04 males, female 15 to 64 years, 0.97 males, female 65 years and over, 0.93 males, female total population, 0.99 males, female 2009 est, HIV, AIDS, adult prevalence rate, 0.3% 2007 est, HIV, AIDS, people living with HIV, AIDS. 26,000 2007 est, HIV, AIDS, deaths. 1,400 2007 est, nationality. Noun, Ecuadorians. Adjective, Ecuadorian religions. Roman Catholic, approximately 95%. Protestant, approximately 4%. Jewish, below 0.002%. Eastern Orthodox, under 0.2%. Muslim, Sunni, approximately 0.001%. Buddhism, under 0.15%. Animism, beliefs under 0.5%. Atheist and agnostics, 1% languages. Spanish, official Amerindian languages, especially Quechua. Achuar Shiwiar 2000 Pastaza Province. Alternate names: Achuar, Achul, Achura, Achale. Chachi 3450 Esmeraldas Province, Cayapas River System. Alternate names, Cayapa, Cha, Palachi. Colorado 2300 Santo Domingo de los Colorados Province. Alternate names, Sachila, Safiki. Quechua Nine separate dialects are spoken in as many areas in the country with a combined population of 1 460,000. Shuar 46669 2000 WCD. Morona Santiago Province. Alternate names, Hivaro, Exavero, Jabaro, Chiwaro, Shura. Weirani 1650 2004. Napo and Morona Santiago Provinces. Alternate names, Warani, Waudani, Huao. Literacy Definition, age 15 and over can read and write. Total population, 91% Male, 92.3% Female, 89.7% Geography Due to the prevalence of malaria and yellow fever in the coastal region until the end of the 19th century, the Ecuadorian population was most heavily concentrated in the highlands and valleys of the Sierra region. Today's population is distributed more evenly between the Sierra and the Costa, the coastal lowlands region. Migration towards the cities, particularly larger cities, in all regions has increased the urban population to about 55%. The Oriente Region, consisting of Amazonian lowlands to the east of the Andes and covering about half the country's land area, remains sparsely populated and contains only about 3% of the country's population, that for the most are indigenous peoples who maintain a wary distance from the recent mestizo and white settlers. The territories of the Oriente are home to as many as nine indigenous groups, Quichua, Shuar, Achuar, Warani, Siona, Sequoia, Shiwiar, and Kofan, all represented politically by the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of the Ecuadorian Amazon, CONFENIAE. As a result of the oil exploration and the development of the infrastructure required for the exploitation of the oil fields in the eastern jungles during the 70s and early 80s, there was a wave of settlement in the region. The majority of these wave of internal immigration came from the southern province of Loja as a result of a drought that lasted three years and affected the southern provinces of the country. This boom of the petroleum industry has led to a mushrooming of the town of Lago Agrio Nueva Loja as well as substantial deforestation and pollution of wetlands and lakes. <laughs> Nationality, ethnicity, and race There are five major ethnic groups in Ecuador, Mestizo, White, Afro-Ecuadorian, Amerindian, and Montubio. Mestizos constitute more than 70% of the population. Ecuador's population descends from Spanish immigrants and indigenous South American Indians, admixed with descendants of black slaves who arrived to work on coastal plantations in the 16th century. The mix of these groups is described as Mestizo or Cholo. 
Censuses do not record ethnic affiliation, which in any event remains fluid, thus, estimates of the numbers of each group should be taken only as approximations. In the 1980s, Indians and Mestizos represented the bulk of the population, with each group accounting for roughly 40% of total population. Whites represented 10 to 15 percent and blacks the remaining 5 percent. According to Cluck, writing in 1989, ethnic groups in Ecuador have had a traditional hierarchy of white, mestizo, blacks, and then others. Her review depicts this hierarchy as a consequence of colonial attitudes and of the terminology of colonial legal distinctions. Spanish-born persons residing in the New World were at the top of the social hierarchy, followed by criollos, born of two Spanish parents in the colonies. The 19th century usage of mestizo was to denote a person whose parents were an Indian and a white. A cholo had one Indian and one mestizo parent. By the 20th century, mestizo and cholo were frequently used interchangeably. Cluck suggested that societal relationships, occupation, manners, and clothing all derived from ethnic affiliation. Nonetheless, according to Cluck, individuals could potentially switch ethnic affiliation if they had culturally adapted to the recipient group. Such switches were made without resort to subterfuge. Moreover, the precise criteria for defining ethnic groups varies considerably. The vocabulary that more prosperous mestizos and whites used in describing ethnic groups mixes social and biological characteristics. Ethnic affiliation thus is dynamic, Indians often become mestizos, and prosperous mestizos seek to improve their status sufficiently to be considered whites. Ethnic identity reflects numerous characteristics, only one of which is physical appearance, others include dress, language, community membership, and self identification. A geography of ethnicity remained well defined until the surge in migration that began in the 1950s. Whites resided primarily in larger cities. Mestizos lived in small towns scattered throughout the countryside. Indians formed the bulk of the Sierra rural populace, although Mestizos filled this role in the areas with few Indians. Most blacks lived in Esmeraldas province, with small enclaves found in the Karki and Mbabura provinces. Pressure on Sierra land resources and the dissolution of the traditional hacienda, however, increased the numbers of Indians migrating to the Costa, the Oriente, and the cities. By the 1980s, Sierra Indians, or Indians in the process of switching their ethnic identity to that of mestizos, lived on Costa plantations, in Quito, Guayaquil, and other cities, and in colonization areas in the Oriente and the Costa. Indeed, Sierra Indians residing in the coastal region substantially outnumbered the remaining original Costa inhabitants, the Cayapa and Colorado Indians. In the late 1980s, analysts estimated that there were only about 4,000 Cayapas and Colorados. Some blacks had migrated from the remote region of the Ecuadorian-Colombian border to the towns and cities of Esmeraldas. Afro-Ecuadorian Afro-Ecuadorians are an ethnic group in Ecuador who are descendants of black African slaves brought by the Spanish during their conquest of Ecuador from the Incas. They make up from 3% to 5% of Ecuador's population. Ecuador has a population of about 1,120,000 descendants from African people. The Afro Ecuadorian culture is found primarily in the country's northwest coastal region. Africans form a majority in the province of Esmeraldas and also have an important concentration in the Valle del Chota in the Mbabura province. They can be also found in important numbers in Quito and Guayaquil. Topic. Indigenous Topic. Sierra Indians Sierra Indians had an estimated population of 1.5 to 2 million in the early 1980s and live in the intermontane valleys of the Andes. Prolonged contact with Hispanic culture, which dates back to the conquest, has had a homogenizing effect, reducing the variation among the indigenous Sierra tribes. The Indians of the Sierra are separated from whites and mestizos by a castellite gulf. They are marked as a disadvantaged group. To be an Indian or indigena in Ecuador is to be stigmatized. Indians are usually poor and frequently illiterate, they enjoy limited participation in national institutions, and they command access to few of the social and economic opportunities available to more privileged groups. Visible markers of ethnic affiliation, especially hairstyle, dress, and language, separate Indians from the rest of the populace. 
Indians wore more manufactured items by the late 1970s than previously, their clothing, nonetheless, was distinct from that of other rural inhabitants. Indians in communities relying extensively on wage labor sometimes assumed Western-style dress while still maintaining their Indian identity. Indians speak Quechua—a Quechua dialect—although most are bilingual, speaking Spanish as a second language with varying degrees of facility. By the late 1980s, some younger Indians no longer learned Quechua. <inaudible> Oriente Indians Although the Indians of the Oriente first came into contact with whites in the 16th century, the encounters were more sporadic than those of most of the country's indigenous population. Until the 19th century, most non-Indians entering the region were either traders or missionaries. Beginning in the 1950s, however, the government built roads and encouraged settlers from the Sierra to colonize the Amazon River Basin. Virtually all remaining Indians were brought into increasing contact with national society. The interaction between Indians and outsiders had a profound impact on the indigenous way of life. In the late 1970s, roughly 30,000 Quechua speakers and 15,000 Hiveros lived in Oriente Indian communities. Quechua speakers sometimes referred to as the Yumbos grew out of the detribalization of members of many different groups after the Spanish conquest. Subject to the influence of Quechua speaking missionaries and traders, various elements of the Yumbos adopted the tongue as a lingua franca and gradually lost their previous languages and tribal origins. Yumbos were scattered throughout the Oriente, whereas the Hiveros subdivided into the Shuer and the Achuer were concentrated in southeastern Ecuador. Some also lived in northeastern Peru. Traditionally, both groups relied on migration to resolve intracommunity conflict and to limit the ecological damage to the tropical forest caused by slash and burn agriculture. Both the Yumbos and the Hiveros depended on agriculture as their primary means of subsistence. Manioc, the main staple, was grown in conjunction with a wide variety of other fruits and vegetables. Yumbo men also resorted to wage labor to obtain cash for the few purchases deemed necessary. By the mid-1970s, increasing numbers of Quechua speakers settled around some of the towns and missions of the Oriente. Indians themselves had begun to make a distinction between Christian and jungle Indians. The former engaged in trade with townspeople. The Hiveros, in contrast to the Christian Quechua speakers, lived in more remote areas. Their mode of horticulture was similar to that of the non-Christian Yumbos, although they supplemented crop production with hunting and some livestock raising. Shamans curanderos played a pivotal role in social relations in both groups. As the main leaders and the focus of local conflicts, shamans were believed to both cure and kill through magical means. In the 1980s group conflicts between rival shamans still erupted into full-scale feuds with loss of life, the Oriente Indian population dropped precipitously during the initial period of intensive contact with outsiders. The destruction of their crops by mestizos laying claim to indigenous lands, the rapid exposure to diseases to which Indians lacked immunity, and the extreme social disorganization all contributed to increased mortality and decreased birth rates. One study of the Shuer in the 1950s found that the group between 10 and 19 years of age was smaller than expected. This was the group that had been youngest and most vulnerable during the initial contact with national society. Normal population growth rates began to re-establish themselves after approximately the first decade of such contact. Culture Ecuador's mainstream culture is defined by its Hispanic mestizo majority, and like their ancestry, it is traditionally of Spanish heritage, influenced in different degrees by Amerindian traditions, and in some cases by African elements. The first and most substantial wave of modern immigration to Ecuador consisted of Spanish colonists, following the arrival of Europeans in 1499. A lower number of other Europeans and North Americans migrated to the country in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, and in smaller numbers, Poles, Lithuanians, English, Irish, and Croats during and after the Second World War. Since African slavery was not the workforce of the Spanish colonies in the Andes Mountains of South America, given the subjugation of the indigenous people through evangelism and encomiendas, the minority population of African descent is mostly found in the coastal northern province of Esmeraldas. 
This is largely owing to the 17th century shipwreck of a slave trading galleon off the northern coast of Ecuador. Ecuador's indigenous communities are integrated into the mainstream culture to varying degrees, but some may also practice their own indigenous cultures, particularly the more remote indigenous communities of the Amazon basin. Spanish is spoken as the first language by more than 90% of the population, and as a first or second language by more than 98%. Part of Ecuador's population can speak Amerindian languages, in some cases as a second language. 2% of the population speak only Amerindian languages. Topic: <laughs> Language. Most Ecuadorians speak Spanish, though many speak Amerindian languages such as Quichua. Other Amerindian languages spoken in Ecuador include Awapit spoken by the Awa, Aingay spoken by the Kofan, Shuar Chicham spoken by the Shuar, Achuar Shiwiar spoken by the Achuar and the Shiwiar, Chapalachi spoken by the Chachi, Safiki spoken by the Sachila, Picoca spoken by the Siona and Sequoia, and Wautadedio spoken by the Wayarani. Though most features of Ecuadorian Spanish are those universal to the Spanish-speaking world, there are several idiosyncrasies. Topic: <inaudible> Religion. According to the Ecuadorian National Institute of Statistics and Census, 91.95% of the country's population have a religion, 7.94% are atheists and 0.11% are agnostics. Among those with a religion, 80.44% are Roman Catholic, 11.30% are Protestants, and 8.26% other mainly Jewish, Buddhists and Latter-day Saints. In the rural parts of Ecuador, indigenous beliefs and Catholicism are sometimes syncretized. Most festivals and annual parades are based on religious celebrations, many incorporating a mixture of rites and icons. There is a small number of Eastern Orthodox Christians, indigenous religions, Muslims, see Islam in Ecuador, Buddhists and Baha'is. There are about 185,000 members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, LDS Church, and over 80,000 Jehovah's Witnesses in the country. The Jewish community of Ecuador Comunidad Judía del Ecuador has its seat in Quito and has approximately 300 members. Nevertheless, this number is declining because young people leave the country towards the United States of America or Israel. The community has a Jewish center with a synagogue, a country club and a cemetery. It supports the Albert Einstein School, where Jewish history, religion and Hebrew classes are offered. Since 2004, there has also been a Chabad house in Quito. There are very small communities in Cuenca and Ambato. The Comunidad de Culto Israelita reunites the Jews of Guayaquil. This community works independently from the Jewish community of Ecuador. Jewish visitors to Ecuador can also take advantage of Jewish resources as they travel and keep kosher there, even in the Amazon rainforest. The city has also synagogue of Messianic Judaism. Topic. Music The music of Ecuador has a long history. Pasillo is a genre of indigenous Latin music. In Ecuador it is the national genre of music. Through the years, many cultures have influenced to establish new types of music. There are also different kinds of traditional music like albazo, pasacal, fox inkeko, tanada, capishka, bamba highly established in Afro-Ecuadorian society like esmeraldas, and so on. Technocumbia and rocola are clear examples of foreign culture's influence. One of the most traditional forms of dancing in Ecuador is sanwanito. It is originally from the north of Ecuador Sanwanito is a danceable music used in the festivities of the mestizo and indigenous culture. According to the Ecuadorian musicologist Segundo Luis Moreno, Sanwanito was danced by indigenous people during San Juan Bautista's birthday. This important date was established by the Spaniards on 24 June, coincidentally the same date when indigenous people celebrated their rituals of Inti Raymi. Cuisine. Ecuadorian cuisine is diverse, varying with the altitude and associated agricultural conditions. Most regions in Ecuador follow the traditional three-course meal of soup, a second course which includes rice and a protein such as meat or fish, and then dessert and coffee to finish. Supper is usually lighter, and sometimes consists only of coffee or herbal tea with bread. 
In the Highland region, pork, chicken, beef, and kai guinea pig are popular and are served with a variety of grains especially rice and corn or potatoes. In the coastal region, seafood is very popular, with fish, shrimp and ceviche being key parts of the diet. Generally, ceviches are served with fried plantain chiffles y patacones, popcorn or tostado. Plantain and peanut-based dishes are the basis of most coastal meals. Encocados dishes that contain a coconut sauce are also very popular. Churrasco is a staple food of the coastal region, especially Guayaquil. Arroz con minestra y carne asada rice with beans and grilled beef is one of the traditional dishes of Guayaquil, as is fried plantain which is often served with it. This region is a leading producer of bananas, cacao beans to make chocolate, shrimp, tilapia, mangoes and passion fruit, among other products. In the Amazon region, a dietary staple is the yuca, elsewhere called cassava. Many fruits are available in this region, including bananas, tree grapes, and peach palms. Topic. Literature Early literature in colonial Ecuador, as in the rest of Spanish America, was influenced by the Spanish Golden Age. One of the earliest examples is Jacinto Calahuazo, an indigenous chief of a northern village in today's Ibarra, born in the late 1600s. Despite the early repression and discrimination of the native people by the Spanish, Calahuazo learned to read and write in Castilian, but his work was written in Quechua. The use of the quipu was banned by the Spanish, and in order to preserve their work, many Inca poets had to resort to the use of the Latin alphabet to write in their native Quechua language. The history behind the Inca drama. Alente, the oldest literary piece in existence for any indigenous language in America, shares some similarities with the work of Calahuazo. Calahuazo was imprisoned, and all of his work burned. The existence of his literary work came to light many centuries later, when a crew of masons was restoring the walls of a colonial church in Quito, and found a hidden manuscript. The salvaged fragment is a Spanish translation from Quechua of the Elegy to the Dead of Atahualpa. A poem written by Calahuazo, which describes the sadness and impotence of the Inca people of having lost their king Atahualpa. Other early Ecuadorian writers include the Jesuits Juan Bautista Aguirre, born in Dal in 1725, and Father Juan de Velasco, born in Riobama in 1727. De Velasco wrote about the nations and chiefdoms that had existed in the Kingdom of Quito today Ecuador before the arrival of the Spanish. His historical accounts are nationalistic, featuring a romantic perspective of precolonial history. Famous authors from the late colonial and early republic period include, Eugenio Espejo a printer and main author of the first newspaper in Ecuadorian colonial times, José Joaquín de Olmedo born in Guayaquil, famous for his ode to Simón Bolívar titled La Victoria de Junín, Juan Montalvo, a prominent essayist and novelist, Juan Leon Mera, famous for his work, Cumanda, or Tragedy Among Savages", and the Ecuadorian national anthem, Luis A. Martinez with A La Costa, Dolores Ventimilla, and others. Contemporary Ecuadorian writers include the novelist Jorge Enrique Adoam, the poet Jorge Carrera Andrade, the essayist Benjamin Carrion, the poets Medardo Angel Silva, Jorge Carrera Andrade, the novelist Enrique Gil Gilbert, the novelist Jorge Acaza, author of the novel Wazipungo, translated to many languages, the short story author Pablo Palacio, the novelist Alicia Yanez Cosio. Art The best known art styles from Ecuador belong to the Escuela Quiteña, which developed from the 16th to 18th centuries, examples of which are on display in various old churches in Quito. Ecuadorian painters include, Eduardo Kingman, Oswaldo Guayasaman and Camilo Igas from the indigenous movement, Manuel Rendon, Jamie Zapata, Enrique Tabara, Anibal Villachis, Theo Constanda, Leon Ricart and Estuardo Maldonado from the informalist movement, and Luis Burgos Flor with his abstract, futuristic style. The indigenous people of Tigua, Ecuador are also world-renowned for their traditional paintings. Sport The most popular sport in Ecuador, as in most South American countries, is football soccer. Its best-known professional teams include Barcelona and Emelec from Guayaquil, LDU Quito, Deportivo Quito, and El Nacional from Quito, Olmedo from Riobama, and Deportivo Cuenca from Cuenca. 
Currently the most successful football club in Ecuador is LDU Quito, and it is the only Ecuadorian club that have won the Copa Libertadores, the Copa Sudamericana and the Recopa Sudamericana, they were also runners-up in the 2008 FIFA Club World Cup. The matches of the Ecuadorian national team are the most watched sporting events in the country. Ecuador qualified for the final rounds of both the 2002 and 2006 FIFA World Cups. The 2002 FIFA World Cup qualifying campaign was considered a huge success for the country and its inhabitants. Ecuador finished in second place on the qualifiers behind Argentina and above the team that would become world champion, Brazil. In the 2006 FIFA World Cup, Ecuador finished ahead of Poland and Costa Rica to come in second to Germany in Group A in the 2006 World Cup. Futsal, often referred to as Inder, is particularly popular for mass participation. There is considerable interest in tennis in the middle and upper classes of Ecuadorian society, and several Ecuadorian professional players have attained international fame. Basketball has a high profile, while Ecuador's specialties include equivalli, a three-person variation of volleyball. Bullfighting is practiced at a professional level in Quito, during the annual festivities that commemorate the Spanish founding of the city, and it also features in festivals in many smaller towns. Rugby union is found to some extent in Ecuador, with teams in Guayaquil, Quito and Cuenca. Ecuador has won only two medals in the Olympic Games, both gained by 20 km racewalker Jefferson Pérez, who took gold in the 1996 Games, and silver 12 years later. Pérez also set a world best in the 2003 World Championships of 1 hour 17 minutes and 21 seconds for the 20 km distance. Migration trends In recent decades, there has been a high rate of emigration due to the economic crisis that seriously affected the economy of the country in the 1990s. Over 400,000 Ecuadorians left for Spain and Italy, and around 100,000 for the United Kingdom, while several hundred thousand Ecuadorians live in the U.S., 500,000 by some estimates, mostly in the cities of the Northeastern Corridor. Many other Ecuadorians have emigrated across Latin America, thousands have gone to Japan and Australia. One famous American of Ecuadorian descent is pop music vocalist Cristina Aguilera. In Ecuador there are about 100,000 Americans and over 30,000 European Union expatriates. They moved to Ecuador for business opportunities and as cheaper place for retirement. As a result of the political conflict in Colombia and of the criminal gangs that had appeared in the areas of power vacuum a constant flow of refugees and asylum seekers as well as economic migrants of Colombian origin had moved into Ecuadorian territory. Over the last decade at least 45,000 displaced people are now residents in Ecuador, the Ecuadorian government and international organizations are assisting them. According to the UNHCR 2009 report as many as 167,189 refugees and asylum seekers are temporary residents in Ecuador, following the migratory trend to Europe many of the jobs that those that left held in the country had been taken over by Peruvian economic migrants. Those jobs are mostly in agriculture and unskilled labor. There are no official statistics but some press reports estimate their number into the tens of thousands. There is a diverse community of Middle Eastern Ecuadorians, numbering in the tens of thousands, mostly from Lebanese, Syrian and Palestinian descent, prominent in commerce and industry, and concentrated in the coastal cities of Guayaquil, Quevedo and Machala. They are well assimilated into the local culture and are referred commonly as Turcos, since the early migrants of these communities arrived with passports issued by the Ottoman Empire in the beginning of the century. See also, Lebanese people in Ecuador. Ecuador is also home to communities of Spaniards, Italians, Germans, Portuguese, French, Britons and Greek Ecuadorians. Ecuadorian Jews, who number around 450 are mostly of German or Italian descent. There are 225,000 English speakers and 112,000 German speakers in Ecuador of which the great majority reside in Quito, mainly all descendants of immigrants who arrived in the late 19th century and of retired émigrés that returned to their terroir. Most of the descendants of European immigrants strive for the preservation of their heritage. 
Therefore, some groups even have their own schools, e.g., German School Guayaquil and German School Quito, Lycée Le Condamine French Heritage, Alberto Einstein, Jewish Heritage, and the British School of Quito, Anglo-British cultural and social organizations, churches, and country clubs. Their contribution for the social, political, and economical development of the country is immense, especially in relation to their percentage in the total population. Most of the families of European heritage belong to the Ecuadorian upper class and had married into the wealthiest families of the country. There is also a small Asian Ecuadorian see Asian Latino community estimated in a range from 2,500 to 25,000, mainly consists of those having any amount of Chinese Yunnan and Han descent, and possibly 10,000 being Japanese whose ancestors arrived as miners, farm hands and fishermen in the late 19th century. Guayaquil has an East Asian community, mostly Chinese including Taiwanese, Filipinos and Japanese. See also Ecuadorian census Indigenous peoples in Ecuador Afro-Ecuadorian Lebanese people in Ecuador Culture of Ecuador Social class in Ecuador Family relations in Ecuador Topic. References Topic. External links http colon slash slash www.unhcr.org slash global trends slash two oh oh nine dash global dash tens dash annex Zip Leading ethnicity map in Ecuador by 2010 census.